Welcome back to the Rico Coliseum and the goalers between the polars. Today are Ben Scrivens of the Maple Leafs uh, farm team and uh, playing with an 8-6-0 record. 2.43 his goals against average. And it is Barry Rust of the Calgary Flames farm team in Abbotsford. And he has a spectacular 0.99 goals against average. Zegaman is taken to the boards. Trying to get to it, but uh, Pascula plays it loose. Here's a chance in front of the net. Oh, what a chance by Ryan. Brody into the slot, gets it over on the near side. A shot right on, and Scrivens is going to jump out on it as Ben Street got it to the net on the short side. Dropping it back into his own zone, and the pass ahead from Brody gets to center. Here's Street in on the left wing, driving the net, and a blocking arm save, and a good one made there by Scrivens. He didn't see where the puck was, and then just at the last second, recovered the vision of it and was able to get a blocking arm on that. Gathered up now by Joe Callahan. He loses it in front for a coin, and a big save made there by Brust. Played by Fratton, back to the blue line to Mike Koska. Koska holds, now a coin works the point. A coin on the right side, down into the corner, centering pass! Oh, what a chance there for Fratton! And when you got a goaltender whose goals against average is 0.99, it harkens back to the days of Greg Millen playing. Shot scores! There's the one goal, and it's off the stick of Max Reinhardt. Just caught the corner and a great shot by young Max Reinhardt. Yeah, some shoot-in location to begin with, a little chip and chase. Where Scrivens there, he has to play it. But a good play behind the net, but not a lot of support. Rangers slips, and then some poor defensive zone coverage as Reinhardt just sneaks into the slot there. And there's the giveaway to begin with. And look at that perfect shot up over top of the glove by Reinhardt. Oh, and a hit there by Holzer. Straightened up street, but a loose puck into the slot. A shot off the post. Down, rebound. Where's the puck? It's in the goal. It ends up in the glove of Scrivens, but was it in the net? Brody is going to get credit for the goal. We'll get another look at it. Now, holes are trying to play goal and ends up hitting him, but it all starts in the leaf zone here, or at the other end to begin with, and then some poor defensive zone coverage, and everybody's chasing the puck. And Brody banks it in off Holzer. The initial check there is Holzer goes way too high, and then you're going to see his defense partner, Frazier, get over aggressive too. Up ahead at center over the line, and just staying on side there was right there. I don't know how Brad Ross feels as we get the teddy bear toss going, but he hung on to that blue line somehow to allow the goal to be scored. <laughs> Bears, who incidentally lost today to the Minnesota Vikings, but a lot of them are on the ice. You know, this is a wonderful tradition that's now started in hockey. And for a great cause this time of year. And finally, the Marlies with some speed have a nice first pass out of the zone. We talked about that. It's amazing when you put things towards the net. And the cake just wires it towards the net. And that was very close to being offside. I don't know if Ross was offside or not, uh, as he's had some pretty good work to his game, Ashton, and some hard-working shifts. A shot from the blue line to Flex scores! Ross may have touched this. The shot coming from the left point, and the Toronto Marlies have tied the game. And the key here, first of all, you got to win the draw. Good scramble, then a giveaway here by Abbotsford, gets it to the point, and I think you'll see Ross, it may have hit him in front of the net, and goes to the net, in the net, but Ross, give him credit, he goes right to the net, Koska with a good hard shot from the point as well, that gets through the traffic, and the Marlies with their patience have been able to hang around this game long enough, and they now get it tied up. Linesman fell down, so he had a little trouble trying to make a play from the seat of his pants, and a penalty here. Paul Ranger may be getting the infraction. He is. It will be for interference. Played in around the boards then by Roman Horak. And he's got two assists. If the pass comes in front, a shot block, the rebound scores! Roman Horak gets the go-ahead goal as it bounces out in front. And Horak has a three-point night. 
courtesy that gift in front of the goal. Well, Yo turns the wrong way on this play, and when he does, he gets creamed. Here he comes with the puck behind, turns back into the traffic on his backhand, which is what you can't do. Just keep skating behind the net. And here's the turn back the wrong way, and then the great hit to begin with to start the playoff by Horak, and then he finishes it with a quick release, and he's been lighting it up for his team all year. 13 seconds, one last rush. That's all there is. Paul Ranger in. Ranger now trying to get it to the front of the net. Had it blocked. It goes into the corner with four seconds left. And the Abbotsford Heat are going to main. Look out. It's rattled into the bench just as the buzzer goes. The Abbotsford Heat will pad their lead atop the division and the conference with a road victory here over the Toronto Marlies. Their third win against the Marlies this season in four tries.